finally, iPad is not just a bigger iPhone. With iPadOS, it gets closer to being a real computer. I bought my first iPad Pro 12.9 Gen 1 when it first came out to use as a video slash photo editing tool on the go, among other tasks such as researching and scripting for YouTube. While I was able to accomplish those tasks with the first gen iPad Pro, there was something missing. The ability to connect external drives easily. When iPad OS comes out, I will no longer needing to transfer my photos and videos to a computer, then upload it to an online storage since I despise iTunes, then download those files back down to the iPad Pro. I say when iPad comes out because I am currently running a beta 3 version of the iPad OS and not all external drives work. I can plug in my Samsung T5 with USB-C cable but not any of my other SSDs nor SD cards using my USB-C hub. I have learned that only external devices with USB-C are supported currently which had prompted my research on USB-C and SSD. I quickly realized that if I were to go buy a fully enclosed external storage either with hard disk drive or SSD inside, it would cost more than just buying a bare bone storage. Take this Samsung T5 500GB SSD for example. It is extremely portable and fast at speed of 500 megabyte of write or read. But you are paying more for it. I knew I could have done better. I knew that the 2.5 inch SSD is no longer the king of storage. Meet the M2, still an SSD but at different form factor with write speed of 6 times faster than the Samsung T5. You would think that it should also be 6 times more expensive. But no, it is actually quite affordable. So why do they keep selling enclosed storage at higher price? Because they can, since most people do not know that they can put together an enclosure and storage at better value. For enclosure, I chose the Ugreen as it is toolless, combining with the XPG M2. I have 1 terabyte in my everyday bag with 10 gigabit per second rewrite. This is not the fault of the M2, but the limitation of the USB 3.1 Gen 2. If you were to connect the M2 to the supported motherboard, you can get a maximum speed of roughly 3500 megabyte per second read and 3000 megabyte per second write. For pricing, the Samsung T5 is $80 versus the XPG M2 at 115 plus 34 for the enclosure for a total of $149 before taxes. You are getting 7 times read and 6 times write for less than double the price not to mention double the storage space. The M2 is also future-proof as newer computers are slowly moving toward using the M2 due to their compact size and speed. To install the M2, simply slide open the enclosure. Position the M2 to the groove of the enclosure adapter. Push it in firmly at a 45 degree angle. Place the M2 down and use the plastic rivet to secure the drive. The Ugreen enclosure has an LED and when transfer will flash a good indicator for helping with premature ejaculation. It is a matted gray finished, which does help with reducing scratches and blend in quite well with the space gray iPad Pro. I am still amazed at the quality of the Ugri enclosure. The metal feels like it was taken from a MacBook Pro aluminum unibody. and holding it feels like you are holding onto a flagship phone thanks to the curvature of the enclosure. The enclosure can fit 4 different sizes of M2. As you can see from the 4 numbers labeled inside the enclosure, the XPG is 2280, the longest of them all. The cable is at the right length and is extremely durable, the kind of durability that can be used to choke someone and succeed. What I also like about the M2 is that it fits so well with one of the side pocket of my Peak Design everyday backpack. Now there is something there so it doesn't feel like a wasted space. I do wish that it has a way to tuck in the cable to the side for easy storage. I can also use the M2 drive for the Tesla Sentry mode. I just need it to create a folder and name it Tesla Cam. I can use it as a full time storage for Sentry mode or as an emergency storage for when the current drive I currently have in the Model 3 runs out of space. And it will run out of space since the Sentry mode footage does not automatically get overwritten. The M2 is a great addition to my everyday carry backpack and has served extremely well when traveling due to its being lightweight and portable. In the near future when iPadOS supports SD card transfer to USB-C hub, I plan to use the M2 as a backup solution for my photos and videos to ensure I have backups of each photo shoot at the end of the day.